Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Weaving Tech Century and today is a very exciting day for everybody who's into wearable technology because first off Google announced Android Wear which is an operating system for wearables and then also LG took the reps of the G Watch smartwatch and last but certainly not least Motorola announced the Moto 360 smartwatch which is very exciting. So let's get started after the intro. So to get started, let's actually talk about the foundation of all the announcement today, and that's Android Wear. Now Android Wear is the new operating system for wearables such as smartwatches or other devices by Google. Now, yes, it has Android in the name, but in terms of design, it doesn't really look like Android that we know from smartphones. Basically, it just looks like the Google Now section that we know from Android for smartphones. So it's a very elegant design, also with this card interface. And this will also work on, for example, round screens as well as square screens. So it's really nice to have this flexibility there. And of course, thanks to Google now, it will deliver a lot of relevant information. For example, when your next flight takes off, if you have an appointment, how long you'll take to work and information like this. Also, of course, it will show notifications. For example, if you get the text message through Hangouts, then you can also just reply to it using your voice, which is very nice. Now, furthermore, we don't really have too much information what Android Wear is actually capable of, but it just looks like a beefed up version of Google Now. And it's just a very nice and simple interface that doesn't rely on the back button, for example, anymore. So it's a very nice operating system for smartwatches, but of course it's nothing without good hardware. So also there were some announcements today from hardware manufacturers. So first off, LG announced the G Watch. Now, unfortunately, we don't really have much information about this smartwatch except for that it will actually be released already in the second quarter of 2014, so not too long to go. And also it will actually work with other Android smartphones. So you're not reliant or stuck on LG smartphones. You can, for example, probably use it with something like a Galaxy S5 or Galaxy S4. There isn't a specific list yet, but it will work with other manufacturers phones as long as they run Android. So that's nice to see. Also, the price shouldn't be too high from what LG already told us. And unfortunately, we only have this one picture of the smartwatch and it definitely doesn't look as nice as the Moto 360 from Motorola but still it seems like a solid smartwatch and I'm just really looking forward to using Android Wear on the smartwatch which should be very exciting. Now last but certainly not least Motorola announced the Moto 360 smartwatch and this basically stole the show today because this is what a lot of us have really been waiting for because it's a round smartwatch that really just looks like a regular watch and not so much like for example the gear which just looks like an electronic toy at your wrist or for example also like the pebble so i think it has a very elegant design with this round screen and it also seems like that android wear will run very well on this round screen so the os is definitely optimized for these different form factors and just judging from the pictures it just looks absolutely excellent there are also for example leather straps or also metal straps that you can just exchange to whatever you like so it's really nice to see that also Motorola paid attention to not only the material but of course also the design now because it is round actually Motorola had to design basically all the parts from scratch but it's just nice to see that they put so much effort in the watch and I think with Android Wear this should be a very solid contender and honestly if this will work with other Android smartphones I don't care if it's like 300 bucks I'm definitely going to get it. It just looks so amazing. Let me know what you think of the Moto 360 in the comments down below. But I think the design is just an absolute stunner. And to be honest, I wouldn't really have expected this to come from a company like Motorola, which is definitely known for good design. But I think this just like hits the ball out of the park. So I'm really excited what Motorola has come up with. And yes, this just looks amazing. And this is exactly what I was waiting for. So I'm very excited for the Moto 360. And just overall, it seems like the smartwatch game is finally stepping up. I mean, the Gear and the Gear 2 were nice, but now I think we're really getting to a point where it's getting really interesting, especially due to the integration also of Google Now, and just to have a unified operating system that will run on multiple smartwatches. And there you just see like what different hardware can come out of it, because the G-Watch definitely looks more like the Gear 2 from Samsung, but the Moto 360 just looks like the next generation and something that we've all been waiting for. And I'm just really excited to hear in the comment section what you have to say about all the announcement today. Again, I'm just absolutely blown away, especially by the Moto 360. It's just a stunner and I can't wait to get my hands on it. 
All of these new devices as well as the operating system should release sometime this year. No specific date is given yet, unfortunately. There's also already an SDK going around for the Android Wear platform. So if you're a developer and you want to go ahead and get into the game of smartwatches, then this is your chance and make something great out of it. The Moto 360, again, I'm repeating myself, just looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for this year and all the new smartwatches. So this also wraps up the video. I hope that you found this information useful. Maybe got you some insight on just the new hardware as well as the new software that was announced. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button as well as also subscribe to the channel for many more tech videos and news. And I really hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.